Hey there. Hello, hello there. Hello, hello, hello there. Woo-hoo-hoo! What's going on in your world? Hmm. You know what's going on in my world? Cooking! That's right. I'm Princess Lindsley. We're back in my kitchen, in my kingdom, ready for another best and furious and wonderful and exciting adventurous video with you to cook something amazing. Now, I said to myself earlier, what's for dinner? And I looked around for my cook and he wasn't there. <laughs> I forgot he's on vacation. Vacation. Ah, he's away. So guess what I'm going to cook? That's right. What are we going to make? Yeah, good question. I'm feeling a very little bit, you know, like this. That's right. I'm feeling the islands. Hawaii is coming to me. Hawaii. So... We are going to make Maui Wowie oh, chicken and rice casserole. Ooh, what's that, you ask? Well, it's really, 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 really good. Now, I have a couple things already happening. We're going to multitask a little bit, but let's begin, shall we? Okay, on the stove, I, have, I am cooking rice. I am cooking one and a half cup of cooked rice. Just follow the package directions. Just get regular rice. I'm using jasmine rice for Princess Jasmine, a friend of mine. And um, you're going to substitute one cup of the water that it asks for with coconut milk. That's right. Already makes it yummy. So whatever cups it asks for of water, put in first one cup of coconut milk, and then the rest put regular water. And I'm cooking that rice on the stove top according to package directions. Okay, now, the other thing I want to do is I want to saute some onions and garlic because that makes it yummy, yummy, yummy. Oh, I almost forgot. Earlier, oh, I also want to put my oven on. I'm sorry, I'm a little bit all over the place, but bear with me. I am going to preheat my oven at 350. <laughs> okay, oven at 350. Also earlier, off camera, without you, I'm so sorry. Don't worry, you'll catch up. <laughs> I made some, I poached some chicken. And I have one and a half pounds. I actually ended up being 1.6 pounds, if you want to know exactly. One and 1.6 pounds of boneless chicken. And these are chicken tenders. Woo, the little tenders, aren't they cute? And I poached them in water, and to make it extra fancy, I use a combination of half chicken broth and half water. And you just put it in a saucepan until it covers the chicken. Um, I feel like the chicken broth gives it some more flavor, makes it more chickeny flavoring. Can a chicken be more chickeny? I think so. <laughs> so if you want to be fancy, do that. Otherwise, you can just use regular water. And all you do is cover the chicken. And you put it on, you don't want it boiling, but you want it to be simmering. And you just cook it until it's just cooked through. And that makes a nice tender chicken. So this is one and a half pounds of cooked poached chicken. And I want to shred it. So, but first I want to get my onions and garlic on the skillet. I want to saute them a little bit. So I've got a half a cup of chopped onion. Oh, I already chopped it off camera, honey. Let me tell you, you do not want to see that. <laughs> I was crying. I was a hot mess. I had mascara running down my face. Not a pretty sight. So, a half a cup of chopped diced onion. Chopped and diced. And then I've got, going to do two garlic cloves. Maybe do three because I love garlic so very, very much. Now, I buy these little packages of pre- Done pre um what do you call it peeled garlic and you know maybe some snooty chefs might be like don't ever use that it gets rid of the flavor but I disagree I think that for lazy cooks like myself who want things easy well, I'm not lazy I just want things relatively simple I like this pre pre uh peeled garlic so I'm just gonna. Chop this up into fine little pieces, and then I'm going to get it on the 
going to saute the pan with a little bit of oil. And I'm just going to brown my garlic and onion. Yes, yes, yes. Yum, yum, yum. I love garlic. It's a wonderful, delicious thing. Oh, the part of this garlic looks a little sad. So I'm going to take this. Don't have any sad garlic in your dish. Now, mm -mm, must be happy. <laughs> must be happy at all times. My happy, 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 happy. Okay. Happy ingredients make for happy food, especially if you have a happy princess making it. Yeah. Mm, that's right. Happy, happy, joy, joy. And I am my happiest in the kitchen with you cooking up some fabulousness. I'm going to chop this up even further. I don't want chunks of garlic in my food. Okay, pan on, our saute pan on. Let's see. I'd say medium high. And we're going to use this lovely um, extra virgin olive oil, olives cooking spray. Thank you, Nifty. That's nice because you can coat the pan nicely without having oil everywhere, which is not so great. And um, it coats the pan nicely. So I'm going to go ahead and put in my, well, I'm going to let that, let that uh, warm up a little bit. I also want to tell you we're going to be using pineapple. This is crushed pineapple, 20 ounces. That's what brings in the Hawaii spirit. Ooh, I think my rice. Oh no, that's my oven. <laughs> got a timer for my rice, and I've got the oven digging, so there's a lot going on. Um, what else do I want to tell you? Pineapple, oh! So I named this Maui Wowie, and if any of you have seen the movie Nine to Five, when they do a little toking up, ooh, they get a little high and woo crazy. The lady's called, the marijuana's called Maui Wowie. Yeah. Now, I'm not a marijuana smoker myself, but, you know, whatever. Some people do, so I just thought it would be fun to call it Maui Wowie because I do believe that when you eat this dish, you will be like, Wowie, that's good. And, of course, the pineapple makes it Hawaiian-esque. Okay, so pan is on. Let's go ahead and put my onion in. A little sizzle, which is always good. I have a little sizzle, and then I'm going to put my garlic in after a minute um, because I want to cook the onion a little bit more than the garlic. I'm going to make some room on my pan. I also have a um, package of, nine ounce package of frozen spinach thawing. So it is thawed, and I've got it over a nice colander because I want it to drain. You don't want to put wet spinach into your dish. How's my rice doing? Three minutes left on my rice. Okay, great. Um, I'm adding some vegetables to this dish so that we can feel like it's a little bit healthy. And to be honest, it's really not that bad for you. The coconut milk is a really nice richness. I'm going to use yogurt as well. And we are going to use some cheese, but not a ton. So it's one of these casseroles that's, I think, fairly light. I am going to use a casserole dish. Noisy, noisy. I'm going to use my fancy dish now. I'm not going to use a fancy dish. I'm going to use a very basic 9 by 13 dish. Usually you could use a nice casserole dish. Just spray it with ham so it does not stick. No sticking. Uh -oh. Sticking to your ribs is okay. That's yummy for you, but sticking to the pan? No. Okay. Let's see how my onions are doing. Very good. Okay. Lovely, lovely. See me multitask. It's very exciting. Okay. Um, why don't we shred our chicken a little bit? Because we have to do that. I'm just going to shred with my fingers. Just pull it apart, make sure your hands are clean, kids. Okay. Some people like to shred with two forks. Sounds fancy, sounds nice. 
I just want to give these some bite-sized shredded pieces for the casserole. Poaching chicken is really nice way to cook it. It makes the makes the chicken tender, which I think is good. Nice to have some tender chicken. And again, we're just shredding this into bite-sized pieces. Don't let me forget my onions. I do not want to burn my onions and have to peel more onions. Oh, Lord, no. Lord, no. That's one of the least, my least favorite things to do is peeling onions. I don't like it. Okay. So I'm shredding, I'm shredding. Do, 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 do. Okay, let's check our onions. I think we'll add in my garlic. Yes. They're nice and glistening. Turn this down a tiny bit. I'm actually going to add a little bit more olive oil. I'm sorry you can't see this side of things, but I'm not a fancy kitchen. I'm a real princess. Mm -hmm. So it goes the garlic. Into the pan. Let's give it a little stir. And I just want this to saute a little bit. Already getting nice and glistening. I'm going to add a little bit more olive oil. Don't worry about using a little bit of olive oil. It's not that bad for you. Okay. Shredding chicken, shredding chicken, shredding chicken. Oh, my rice is about to go off. It's about to ding. I think you're really going to like this dish. It's nice and hearty. It's great any time of year, to be honest. Winter, spring, fall. Oh, there's my rice. Okay. I'm coming. <laughs> I'm coming. I said I'm coming. I'm coming, I'm coming. Okay. Timer off. Yes, yes, I hear you. You're hot, probably. Okay. All I'm going to do is take this off the heat. And when it's a little bit cooler, ooh, and I think my, yeah, I think my onions and garlic are good. Yep. Okay, that seems good. Turn that off too. Fabulous. I'm going to turn off this. Don't forget that you have your oven on. 350, you want that. Let's set this spice aside to get cool a little bit. And we're back to shredding our chicken. <laughs> now I couldn't be fancy and take breaks in between and do all these fancy shots for you, but. You know what? I like to keep it real and simple. You know what I'm saying? And I'm a princess. It's true. I'm amazing. I'm fabulous. But I'm also living reality. So this is what it's like to really cook with me in the kitchen. I wish you were all here with me in person. It would be so much fun. I could give you some of my princess frocks to wear. I could have a little glass of champagne. Very nice. Okay. Almost done. That chicken buried under here that still needs to be shredded. I can't keep track. <laughs> okay. You do have some... I'm feeling some... Hmm, I probably should have gotten... Yeah, there's like a, there's like a bow, uh, thingy in there. Make sure... like I probably should have used boneless uh, breasts. I use tenders, and sometimes there's that little tendon in there, which is not great, but what you gonna do? Okay, this looks pretty good. Is this another piece? Another piece. Is this the tendon? Yeah. There's a little tendon in the tender, breast tender, and I don't really want to eat that, so getting rid of that. No, oh, thank you. Bye. No, oh, thank you. Bye. No, oh, thank you. Bye. Okay. Oh, another piece. Oh my gosh. I really should have just taken this out and just used a separate bowl because then I would know how much chicken I had left to shred. 
But uh, you know what? Whatever. This works. This works just fine, kids. It's working. Um, it's happening. Okay, I think that is all the chicken. Yes, it is. Very good. Okay. Now, wash my hands yet again. Okay. Now, I'm going to go ahead and well, well, mix this all in a big bowl. So, what I think I'll do, I'm going to get a different, separate bowl, which is where I will put everything in. I'll set that aside. Okay. I want to, let's go ahead and put the, this big enough, the rice in here, and then I've got other things going on. Use a bigger bowl. I like to use bigger bowls so that you really make sure you mix well. So I'm going to use a big bowl. And I'm going to go ahead and put my onions and garlic in here so they cool a little bit more. A couple of my onions got a little brown. But you know what? Don't worry about it. That's totally fine. Okay. Now that's that. Now I'm going to add in my chicken. Well, you know what? No. I'm sorry. I'm confused with life. Okay. I would like to add a bell pepper. I'm using red. You can use whatever color bell pepper you like. Again, you like to put some, put some veggies in there. Some people do. You know, a chicken casserole with cheese and remember when back in the old days when they used to use like cream of mushroom soup and all that? They still do. But um, then that would be it and there wouldn't be any vegetables. And I'm like, no, we need to have some veggies. I'm just dicing these. Again, you don't want to have big chunks of this. Everything should be able to be incorporated pretty quick, easily. So I'm going to put the whole pepper in. I just cut around the edges. That's how I cut my pepper. I find it to be the easiest way to cut it around the core. But you cut it however you like to cut it. I love cooking. I love cooking. How about you? Just as I go. Do, 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 do. You can also make the rice, you know, ahead earlier and let it cool. It's totally fine. You just don't want it to dry out too much. So don't want to make it too far in advance. Okay. Lovely, lovely. Almost done with my pepper. Really is such an ingenious way to chop a pepper. See, and then all you have left is a little core, and you just throw that away. Voila! Voila! Done, done, done. Okay. Last bits of my pepper. You can also probably incorporate other vegetables too in here, so be creative and do whatever you like. Just don't use any vegetables that take a very, very long time to cook unless you cook them in advance a little bit. Otherwise, your vegetables will not be cooked through, which won't be good. Okay, so I got that. And now I want to add in. The rest of my can of coconut milk. So remember I use one cup of it for my rice. And the rest of it goes into this bowl. It's going to make it nice and creamy. And at some point, we want to add in salt and pepper. So we do it now. It doesn't matter what time you add it in. As long as you add it in. But that's really good flavor. Pepper and salt. Always add in salt and pepper. I like a lot of salt. You can stick it in your finger and taste it as you go. As long as it's a clean finger. Make sure that it's the right consistency. Okay, I want to add in a cup of yogurt. I am using non-fat Greek yogurt. It's nice and thick and obviously good for you. Let's see, where are my half a cups? That's one cup. Where's my half a cup? Well, this is a third. I'll use this because I'll just fill it three times. When there's a will, there's a way. So let me make 
make sure that this is filled. Yes, that's good. Okay. Uh, doesn't have to be exact with this because, you know, this isn't baking. So it doesn't have to be totally exact, but as close as you can. Okay. Oh, good. Good, I can the rest of this. I don't have to put it back in the fridge. All right. Might as well get the rest of this out. It's only a tiny, tiny little bit left. Okay. Lovely. I've got a cup. Now I want to mix in, where's my rag here? Gotta keep clean. Okay. I want to mix this together. And now I want to add in some spices. So I'm going to add in paprika. Paprika, paprika. People also like cayenne pepper. Use whatever you want. I'm going to do one and a half teaspoons. Where's my one teaspoon? Here we go. I like it pretty, I like a good flavor. Whoa, okay, that's definitely one. I can do a little bit less than half because that kind of came out in a big book. Okay, no, 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 not that much. Thank you. Okay, one and a half. <laughs> Again, this measurement so not to be exact, but you want it to be good. This is gonna give it a nice flavor. It's gonna give it a little kick. Oh yeah, a little kick. Okay, then I'm gonna add in Sambo Ole. I don't know if you know what's oh sriracha actually. Sorry, sriracha. Let me make a let me make a note of that. I like sambo ole as well, but uh, you can use sriracha. I I actually don't like a ton of spice, but I like a little. So I'm gonna put in a half a tablespoon. You can put in as much as you want, depending upon how spicy you like things. You do. Okay, let's mix this up. Ooh, it already looks good. Yum, yum, yum. Woo, 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 woo. Okay, now I want to add in. Okay, let's add in my spinach. Why not? They're all going to go in eventually. So again, you, I drain this, and I want to just squeeze out the excess water as much as you can. It's thawed. And now it's a nice little ball of spinach. I don't want my casserole to be really watery, so make sure you do that. Okay. Are you having fun yet, kids? I am. <laughs> having a blast. I could just do this all day long. Okay. Spinach. I'm going to try to break it up a little bit so it's not giant blobs of spinach in your casserole. Yes, it's mixing nicely. Lovely. Ooh. Yeah, see, that's going to be nice and healthy for us, which is good. Okay. Now I want to add in, I'm going to drain my pineapple. I might save this pineapple juice. A nice thing to do is to make like a little cocktail. So feel free to, come on. Ugh, these old cans scare me. Well, that's as good as it's gonna get. Okay. I'm gonna drain this over a bowl because as I said, I wanna save my pineapple juice to make a little cocktail. Actually, let me use one of these cookies. Use a measuring cup. That makes sense. And I'm going to just go ahead and drain that carefully. Try not to have it go all over the place. I'm really good at that. <laughs> and this is a lot of pineapple, so I don't know if I'm going to use all of this. I'm going to use, hmm, I think I'm going to use three quarters of the can. So not all of it. Let's make a note of that. I don't know why last time I feel like I did make, I did, uh, I feel like I did use the whole can. I don't know. My, my recipes can change sometimes, but I feel like this is a lot of pineapple, so I'm just going to use three quarters of this. So save, save a little bit. Seems about good. Set this aside. Oh, my kitchen.
which is always a mess after I'm done. Yeah, I think that's good. I don't want I don't want overwhelming pineapple. Hey, if you love pineapple, throw the whole can in there. Just make sure you drain that pineapple. I don't want it to be overwhelming. Okay, this looks gorgeous. Now I want to add in, this will be thrown away. I try to clean as I go, but you know how it goes. Okay, now I want to add in some cheese. I've got eight ounces, right? Yes, six ounces. <laughs> six ounces of, this is a Mexican blend. I'm going to add in probably three quarters of it. Not all of it, but then I just put a little bit on top later. Yummy. Actually, no, you know what? I don't like to have a cheese coating on top to you. I don't really care. I'm gonna put the whole thing in. Because that's how I roll. <laughs> Some people like to have, if you wanna put, have, save half the cheese put on top to do a cheese layer, go for it. I don't, that, to me, it's not a big deal. Now the chicken. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, yes. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. I cannot tell you how gorgeous this looks. Oh, that cheese is gonna melt. That yogurt, the pineapple, oh, the spices. Ooh, oh my goodness, that was quite a scare. Oh, one of the dogs on the property hurt his foot. It's just terrible noise, but everything was okay. He's all right, so we're back to cooking. Ooh. Um, oh my gosh, I almost forgot to add the rice. That was overwhelming, but all is okay. All is okay in the kingdom. Don't worry, don't worry. So I want a cup and a half of rice. Um, what did I do with my, all of my thingies? Here we go, a cup and a half of rice. So half a cup, again. Doesn't have to be exact. This is half a cup, half a cup. <laughs> I made extra rice because just in case. These are heaping, heaping by the way. But as long as you follow the instructions on your rice for cooking one and a half cups, you'll be fine. Now, this is when you can gauge whether or not you want to add more rice or keep it less rice. Rice, rice, baby, <laughs> whatever you want. Do I want to add more rice? Hmm. Well, what's great is I can taste it right now because it's just cooked, the chicken is cooked. So let me take a little bite. Spoon, spoon please. Mmm, oh. It's really good. Mm. This is why we taste our food, it needs more salt. The flavor is delicious, and you know what? I might add the rest of the pineapple, because I'm kind of digging it. There we go. <laughs> Again, not the juice, just the pineapple. Okay. How am I feeling about the rice? I feel pretty good, I think. I feel like it's a good, good amount of stuff to rice. Okay, now we've got our casserole dish, and we're gonna go ahead and pour this in. Look at this, I made a lot. But it's gonna feed the whole family, all the people in my royal court, which is great. I like to cook for everybody. If you're gonna cook, make some for everyone. Okay, big bowl. I'm glad I used a big bowl too. You know, you gotta, gotta have room for all the stuff to move around <laughs> so it can blend really well. Whenever I make salad and toss my salad, I always have a big, big bowl. So I like to get dressing on every part of the salad. Okay. This is so pretty, truly spectacular. Again, if you want to, if you want to save some cheese or even use more extra cheese than I asked, than I 
say the recipe. Fine. We're going to cook this at 350 for 30 minutes. And we'll see how it looks after 30. All right? I'm so excited. Wow, we. Ah! Look at this, kids. Oh my gosh. <gasps> my Maui Waui chicken rice bake is done and it looks so amazing. Piping out of the oven. I have to try it now. Oh, the cheesiness. I can see the spinach. Mm, mm, mm. I am ready to eat. And I can't wait to see how the pineapple tastes in this. I'm sure it's going to be amazing. Ooh, crumbles, oh, crumbles nicely. Mmm, look at that. Wow. Mmm. Oh. Wow. Wowie. <laughs> Maui, wowie. It's as good as I remember it. Last time I made it, I had hair on my face. Sorry. Oh my gosh, it's as good as I remember making it last time. Oh! Mmm! Mmm! Those peppers give it a really nice crunch. The spinach. Mmm! Hot. Mmm! <laughs> I was so excited to try it, I didn't let it cool down. <laughs> That's how excited you'll be too. Um, I have to say, it's really, really, really delicious. It's got just the, the right amount of zip from the spices. If you like spice, like spicy, add even more of the sriracha. But for me, this is perfect. Mmm. Oh. And it's really not that bad for you. It tastes really, really decadent. Like it's really, really, really naughty. <laughs> but it's not, which is amazing. <laughs> I love it. I think I'm amazing. <laughs> and you're amazing too, princesses. Please make this. Try it. Tell me what you think. And Maui Wowie to everybody. <laughs>